Hey guys, MoneyMan300, back for some more Project Cars videos here, and this time, as you can see, we got a wheel video. We've got the Ferrari 458, Ferrari 458 Spider wheel. Make sure I get it right. Um, this is the non-force feedback. This is going to be your cheaper option of the the major two wheels. There's really three wheels. That are, there's also the Mad Cats, but there's the, this is the Thrustmaster 458 Spider, and this is a non-force feedback, but it does have, you know, it's got tension in it. You can see. It's got kind of a rubber band system. Actually, the tension feels pretty good. You know, it feels solid. Uh, you can see I did, uh, earlier on my channel, I did a review on this for Forza 5. I talked about this, and this is going to be not only a review, but go over the settings, the calibration, and give you my overall impression on how it works. So let's get started in here. First thing I want to go over is the calibration and how you do that. So let's get over here into our options. So if you haven't calibrated a wheel for it, it's in your options. It's in your controls, and you're going to see it should automatically detect it. Now, a little piece of advice when you plug this in, completely power off, and it's even better, just pull the power cable on your Xbox, then plug the USB in, then bring it up. That gets you a good reset on your USB port and should clear up any issues you've got with, the, uh, with doing that. So you come in here. There is an option down there. It says X to calibrate the wheel, so we hit that. We're going to just go through it real quick, and re we can recalibrate this. I'm going to hit Start, and you can turn it um, all the way... Um, full so it says first turn the wheel either anti-clockwise to its maximum so it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna turn it this way maximum you can let it go at that point hit A to continue the next thing is it says to take your steering lock to 90 degrees or clockwise now this is a little confusing because if I go this says it's 1579 degrees so it doesn't read the degrees right this threw me off a little bit take it at what you think 90 degrees is here honestly it should it, it really should read about 240 in my opinion so take it to 240 and the reason i say that this is a 240 degree wheel so this should be the full so what what this really means is when i turn it this far this is the full uh length that or the full lock to lock that you're going to get this is going to be fully locked on the wheel not down here now if you want to go all the way you could technically go all the way to here it's just a lot more to turn I, I really think you want to come in here it's a 240 degree wheel so it, if you come in here let it off let it off get get yourself get this way 240 right there and once you get there you want to hold it here right trust me on this if you want to go a little less right you could you could go here and now you know and now you just have even less play I think you know to start off with you should go to 240 on this so go to 240 hit a you can let go of it a we are now calibrated uh, if you want to calibrate your pedals now we hit the left trigger left trigger is the gas pedal by the way so the shifts here these are your bumpers left and right bumpers the gas pedal and the brake are your left and right trigger so it says left trigger to calibrate the pedals no it doesn't recognize my pedals really I get all the way in here and it doesn't recognize them or maybe it might hit the wrong oh left <laughs> I was hitting the gas pedal the brake is the left pedal you know the one on the left the brake <laughs> anyway the brake is the left pedal the gas is the right or the brake is the left trigger gas is the right trigger okay got that right now left and right that's you know generally learned that in grade school but uh, always a little hard for me being left-handed I think maybe that's what throws me off I don't know <laughs> anyway um, Let's go in here. So this, this isn't anything tough here. So depress all pedals as far as possible. So I'm just gonna push them in, get that full 100%. Again, you could probably let off a little if you wanted to. And now once I've done this, I've already got it in there. You can just deep, uh, let them go when you do that and hit A again to save it. Hit A to save, there we go. Okay, so there we are, that's it. That's all there is to calibrating this wheel. Um, I, the first time I did it, I did a full lock trying to get to 90 degrees and it was, and the wheel was sluggish. I went back in, you know, the key part is calibrating that wheel and taking it to 240 degrees. I think you guys really like that. So anyway, uh, let's pop on over and just talk about a couple other things in here in the configuration. I didn't make a lot of changes here. Let's go down number one, the thing that should be at the top that's not. Controller input mode, I did leave that at three. And I didn't really change anything it felt good the only thing you might consider bumping up is your steering sensitivity if you like it to be a little bit more you know if you're getting the understeer with it you can just bump that up a little bit to, but to be honest with you all these settings felt real good to me i didn't really have to go in and change a whole lot here so 
So those are all good, but you can change that. And you want to come over here, and if there's other, you know, some buttons you want to assign to do some different things, um, you can do that as well. I didn't change anything. I just left it as is. That's a, that's, those are personal preference things, and you know, it's kind of up to you guys. So uh, I'm gonna back out of this, and we're gonna get out of here. I did not change anything else. My camera, my visuals, any of that stuff. And we're going to come over here and let's go for a little drive. I'm going to give you guys my impressions of the wheel. So let's go over here. I don't know what I want to drive here. I've been driving this. I mean, you guys have seen my videos. I've been running that. Uh, and it's, maybe it's best because you guys have seen me run that with the controller. So I'm going to go over here and we're just going to go into uh, free practice. And we're just going to run the same thing. This has been the Community Challenge, a branch hat, Indy with the Renault Sport Clio. Um, I have ran it with other cars. To be honest, the wheel works really well. It works much better in this game than it did in Forza 5 for me. So if you if you remember back to the review I did there, it had an oversteer issue coming out of turns. It was the controller was way better, in my opinion, than the wheel was. It took a long time. I ran a bunch of races and still struggled um, get with the controller and getting that to work. So um, not with the controller, with the wheel and getting that to work with Forza 5. It's great on here. I mean, just even out of the box. Let me show you guys one other thing you may want to play around with, and, and I talked about this before. Um, let's go over here. Let's go two to the right. Your steering ratio, uh, If again, this is another place that you can adjust. Adjust it more to the left if it's a little bit slow for you, if it doesn't seem to be as responsive as you'd like it. Um, go ahead, you can adjust that. So I, I'm going to leave it right there for now, but I think that uh, we're in pretty good shape. So, uh, so we're going to back back out of there. Yeah, didn't change anything. And we're gonna drive. Let's go for a little drive here, and I just give you guys an go, idea. Go, go. It's right. I mean, from everything I've seen so far, it's right on. And I'll be honest, this is a, gonna be. If you don't have the money to get the Thrustmaster TX, and I do have that one also. I don't have it set up yet, um, but I'm gonna be doing a review on that after this one. Otherwise, let's get this show on the road here. Got some cold tires here. We'll take it easy. You see, it's it's real accurate. Shifting's good. Pedals feel pretty good. I'm two foot braking. Oh, we passed the brake line there. Cold tires. Um, I like to two foot brake um, in a racing game. Throttle a lot of it. Big tip: throttle out all your front wheel drive cars. As a front wheel drive, you just if you get sideways, just pop the throttle. Right there, just give it a little extra throttle. Great driving. I'm trying to get the tires, get the tires warmed up here. You see, you can hide. This is a nice one. You can, you can hold a nice gradual turn through here. It's a good example of something you really can't do with the controller right now in the game. Steer out of it's going to kick me to the right a little. So a little. Uh, we're going to run three laps just so I can show you a couple laps on the. that turn need to brake a little earlier um, brake pressure is something you're going to play around that's the other thing uh, in the brake sensitivity you may want to bump that up a little bit I've noticed that to be just a, to be a little light here and I'm really having to jam on the brakes to get it to stop so that's probably an area where I could still uh, tune up a little bit uh, bump, I bumped brake pressure on here already to 100% doesn't help with the sound glitch sound it sounds a little off there it goes it's better Okay, we'll run a next a nice good lap this next one and then we'll uh, wrap it up with uh, my kind of my overall impressions and what I think of the wheel here. So we can get a good start for this lap. Still can't quite get the break point down. As you can see, I, I gotta I'm gonna have to do a little more work and I'll show you where to go to, to break earlier here. Again, I'm not a great wheel user because I haven't used it a whole lot, but it's pretty easy to use. A little better. Try to give it one more here. I feel like the tires are real good and warm right now. Get a lot of traction. This is, this is the only spot I've really been having problems with here.
a little better there. I still have to let off a little more than I wanted to. Though not bad though. Be interested to get want to get some more traffic on there, but it gives you guys an idea. You can see how accurate things are. But you'll notice the sound's just slightly off when I click in between that, the other stuff there. I mean, 54 is not terrible. Um, that's just because getting the delay on my webcam and everything matched up. The wheel, the, the, the stuff's matched up there. This should be pretty close to turning. Uh, the game might be just ahead of the steering wheel, but pretty close. So um, I will end it there where's my oh I'm gonna get the right button there we go so anyway um overall i think this is a great wheel to use and a great alternative to the tx if you don't want to go spend 300 dollars you can pick this up for less than 100 dollars it really makes the game enjoyable it feels good now you're not going to get any vibration you're not going to get any force feedback or any feedback of any kind which would be nice um but but you, you know that going in i still think it's a great alternative i still think it brings up your um, enjoyment level of the game if you really want to get into some more realism and the wheel feels I mean just as a whole the wheel feels good I like the grip on it uh, the pedals work fine they're not perfect by any means but they work good and and they, they get the job done so anyway uh, I do recommend it. I think this works great. It's seamless. It took me... That's the whole setup process I just showed you guys. Um, oh, I told you I was going to show you one other thing, uh, where to go in the brakes. There's two places in the brakes here. Just real quick. Uh, let's, let's return to the pit box. Let's talk about tuning setup. So brake pressure right there. Uh, oh, cancel. And then uh, the... Okay, let's get out of there. And then the other one is going to be in our options. Oops. Yeah, so I'm going to exit. Please. The other one, as soon as it loads up here, is going to be in your controller options and your brake sensitivity. Uh, you want to bump. I think you want to bump that up. For me, I'm having to really just jam on the brakes, and I don't, you know, it seems to take a lot of time to, to do that here. It's going to, oh, man, I thought it was going to lock up. I lock up there every once in a while. I don't know about you guys, but. Um, so I go into options and controls. And let's go over to our config. Brake sensitivity. I already have it at 70. I think I need it even higher. Um, and I may want to add a dead zone in here for the break. So you may want to just bump up that dead zone, you know, five or 10, just so you don't have to go all the way down. So between the break dead zone and then bumping this up to 80, 85, I think is, is I'm going to just go ahead and bump it up there. Now I'm going to run this up to 85 just so that I've got, um, you know, just that much more sensitivity in the brakes because I feel like I'm, I'm running through a lot of turns and maybe I'm just late braking. Maybe I just need to learn how to drive it a little bit better. I, like I said, I haven't driven with the wheel all that much. But anyways, great option. I highly recommend it. It works much better in project cars than it did in Forza and is 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 really a viable option to drive. It wasn't even viable for me in Forza. It was, it was so hard to drive with the wheel, um, but it really works well. My times, my driving ability is is just as good if not better with the wheel than it is in the controller especially given the current controller issues so anyway that's gonna end it there thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one later